Hi there, this is Jonathan Ginsberg, and I want to talk to you a little bit about the denial notices you get from Social Security. Uh, I was meeting with a client just the other day in my office, and he had brought with him the, the standard denial notice uh, from his initial application, and he was very upset that uh, the, this, the language in that uh, that notice said that we feel like you can work and um, you know we looked at uh, the following medical records we couldn't get more of them this is what we got and we feel you can work and I just said to him you know these are boilerplate letters these letters don't really mean a whole lot in the sense that um, Social Security uses a form letter they fill in uh, certain fields and then they send it out so I wouldn't get too worried about um, a letter you get from Social Security that talks about uh, you know, why they denied you. Uh, what's important in that letter are a couple things. One is you want to see what medical records they had because obviously if they had, uh, they didn't have, you know, half your medical record, then that's something we need to know about and make sure that they get it and improve your chances at getting approved at, at reconsideration. Um, and the second thing is sometimes the denial notice will tell us uh, what your date last insured is, meaning when's the, when does your disability insurance run out, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, but otherwise, I wouldn't pay a lot of attention to these form letters. They're just there to expedite the process. Uh, and by the way, if you apply and don't get a response, don't get a denial notice or anything, within about three or four months, it's probably worth calling. Um, I've had this happen several times where Social Security will deny a case. They will not send the notice out uh, on time. And then the 60-day time to appeal will run, and my client will be stuck, never receiving a notice of denial uh, yet, uh, they, there's, there's no way to appeal because the appeal deadline is run. And I've even seen situations where the uh, postmark on the denial notice is three weeks before the letter was actually received. So I would tell you when you get your denial notice to save the envelope and make note of when you received it because you're supposed to have 60, 60 days from the date of your receipt of the denial notice to file an appeal. And uh, more times than I think I would feel comfortable with, Social Security has screwed that up, uh, sent things out late or not sent them out at all. And you've got to be your own advocate in these cases and really inquire to find out uh, what is going on so that you don't miss your appeal deadline. And just to reiterate, uh, if you are denied and you want to appeal, uh, you have 60 days. You have to appeal within 60 days. Otherwise, you have to start all over again. Uh, I talked to a guy just two days ago. Uh, he applied in November. I'm sorry, he, he applied. He was denied in November. Uh, this is now uh, February, uh, and it's too late because his deadline has, has already passed uh, by a few days. So there's nothing really more he can do uh, since he did not appeal it. So anyway, hope this has been helpful. Again, my name is Jonathan Ginsberg. Uh, any questions about Social Security, please let me know, and I'm more than happy to help you. Thanks a lot.